with Chadika and welcome back to my channel Embrace Capsule Talks. Today we will discuss about natural history of disease and levels of prevention. What is disease? Disease is any harmful deviation from the normal structural and functional state of an organism. Natural history of disease is a progression of a disease process in an individual over time in the absence of treatment. The process starts with exposure to certain factors and ends with recovery, disability or death if the patient is not given medical intervention. So usually epidemiologists observe the natural history of disease for say cohort studies that's from the exposure to the outcome which can be recovery, disability or death. There are two phases in the natural history of disease. First is a pre-pathogenic phase, second is a pathogenic phase. In the pre-pathogenic phase, the man is not yet diseased but the agent that contributes to the disease is present in the environment. Epidemiological trial explains that the causation of disease is is due to the interaction between agent, host and environment. Agent factors are those substances living or non-living, its excessive presence or absence of it leading to initiation of disease. These agents can be biologic which include bacteria, viruses and fungi, chemical agents such as smoke, alcohol etc., the physical agents such as crushing, dislocation, trauma, then the nutritional agents which include excessive or deficiency of certain food etc. Next is a host factor this includes the social demographic characteristics, biological, social and economic factors, lifestyle factors etc. Next is environmental factors which include three types of environment. First is a physical environment which include air, soil, water. Second is a biological environment which include the coexistence with the ecological system. Third is a psychosocial environment which includes the customs, habits, beliefs, religion, etc. Second phase is a pathogenic phase. In this phase, the agent entered the body and may develop disease clinically or subclinically. At this phase, the process may lead to recovery, disability or death. So it's important for us to know about the levels of prevention and what should be done at each phases of disease. The levels of prevention include first, the primordial prevention, second is a primary prevention, third it is a secondary prevention and finally the tertiary prevention. Primordial prevention which is a kind of preventive measures that is done way before the onset of disease is mainly done in the childhood. For example, we have a kid named John of age 6 years. His parents ask him to eat healthy and maintain health through exercises and avoid alcohol etc. Because they didn't want Master John to develop any kind of obesity or hypertension in the future. Literally, we are aiming to prevent the development of disease risk factors. This is primordial prevention. Coming to the next level of prevention, it is a primary prevention. So here, John is now 20 years old and he didn't listen to his parents and he led an unhealthy eating habit with excessive alcohol consumption. And now, he is overweight with borderline cholesterol levels, so that now he has already developed the risk factors for many diseases such as hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, etc. At this stage, he was taken to a dietitian and the dietitian adopted two interventions. First, the dietitian had a personal talk with Mr. John for the nutritional modification, lifestyle and behavioral changes. So that the first approach was health promotion. Second, the nutritionist gave Mr. John certain supplements to stop cravings for excessive eating, alcohol consumption, etc. This approach is specific protection. So these two types of prevention, that is a primordial and primary prevention, can be applied in the pre-pathogenic phase of disease. Next is secondary prevention. At the age of 35, Mr. John still was not able to quit his unhealthy eating habits and alcoholism. He developed obesity and heaviness in chest, shortness of breath, dizziness, fatigue, etc. So he decided to do a screening test. And after the screening test, it was found that he is having high levels of cholesterol, hypertension, mild atherosclerosis, and he was given medications. 
for all his diseases and the doctor gave him a warning that if you stop your medications and continue unhealthy lifestyles then you are going to end up with cardiac diseases. So this phase of John is called the pathogenic phase. The main interventions of secondary prevention is early diagnosis and reference. The final level of prevention is tertiary level. Mr. John unfortunately forgot to take his medications regularly and he was by the time an alcoholic and fast food addict and he got a heart attack. So all what the doctors could do for Mr. John was disability limitation and rehabilitation which include medications, exercise training, emotional support etc. Thank you guys. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you like my videos, please like and comment below your doubts and suggestions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys with another video. Till then, bye bye.